The Pittsburgh Steelers will be forced to pay nearly $500 million after a huge lawsuit hits the NFL. So, the Pittsburgh Steelers organization and 31 other teams across the NFL will soon face a challenging situation due to a recent legal ruling involving the NFL and a lawsuit. The decision in the NFL Sunday ticket lawsuit could potentially cost the Steelers, alongside the other NFL teams, at least around $500 million each, per NBC's Mike Florio. So, before I get more into it, Make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications for everything Pittsburgh Steelers news and updates. Also, like the video. Now, let's get right back into it. So, this will be a significant financial burden for every NFL team. Despite the NFL being a multi-billion dollar company and industry and its team is generating a lot of money, the Pittsburgh Steelers just made around $500 million just last season, it's still a large sum to cover and a difficult task. Fortunately, the money owed will not affect the team's salary caps, which is some relief for every NFL team when trying to employ players to actually play on the football field. So it won't affect, impact the salary cap, but it will impact the owners and the presidents of each team. Before I get more into that part, let me talk about the actual ruling and what the NFL was found in a violation for. So apparently, allegedly they they were found in violation of offering their Sunday ticket package at extremely high price. They were also accused of limiting competition by offering the service exclusively through satellite provider. There are many complexes in this case and the NFL plans to appeal the final decision. But in terms of the ruling, the NFL is likely to take this decision to the Supreme Court as they are unhappy with the ruling. The league believes they have acted correctly and ethically, and in an article released by the ESPN, the NFL issued this statement regarding the decision. Here's the quote. We are disappointed with the jury's verdict today in the NFL Sunday ticket class action lawsuit. We continue to believe that our media distribution strategy, which features all NFL games broadcast on free over-the-air television in the markets of the participating teams and national distribution of most popular games, supplemented by many additional choices including Red Zone, Sunday Ticket, and NFL Plus, is by far the most fan-friendly distribution model in all of sports and entertainment. End quote. So the NFL plans to contest the decision made by the eight-person jury, asserting with confidence that the package they offered was well within their rights. Here's their quote. We will certainly contest this decision as we believe that the class action claims in this case are baseless and without merit. We thank the jury for their time and service for their guidance and oversight from judge throughout the trial. End quote. So basically, in summary, the NFL, just in case if I haven't made it clear, the NFL lost its Sunday ticket lawsuit and has been ordered to pay nearly $5 billion. A jury found the NFL violated antitrust laws leading to the significant financial penalty. The lawsuit was originally filed by the Monkey Duck Sports Bar in San Francisco back in 2015, though it was dismissed in 2017. It was revived two years later. On Thursday, the court ruled that the league had indeed violated antitrust laws by deceiving viewers regarding out-of-market Sunday afternoon games available through premium subscription service. So, that's basically what it is. This is basically a jury that ruled yet that ruled a couple days ago that the NFL can be held liable in a class action lawsuit, and this would mean that the verdict and the results is the league owing 4.696 billion dollars, and it can be significantly higher. So that's a lawsuit. It basically got passed, and it basically got that the NFL was found guilty or something like that, but then. The NFL plans on appealing it at an even higher level because obviously they don't want to pay $4.6 billion and they wouldn't want every single team paying nearly $500 million. So they plan on appealing it and the Pittsburgh Steelers would be one of those teams that would obviously have to pay $500 or at least close to $500 million along with the 31 other teams in the league. So when you look at this, what does this mean? Well, it means that the NFL and each team would have to make some really hard decisions and probably decisions that they don't want to make because of this lawsuit and because of the fine or the financial 
burden that they would have to pay. And Jim Nagy provided his perspective, suggesting that this outcome will force NFL teams to make tough decisions. This is what he had to say on the topic. Unfortunately, I think it's going to cost a lot of people their jobs, including scouts. Each owner will be on a hook for almost $500 million, so you know they're going to look to trim staff. It's a shame that this is going to happen, that regular people working their everyday jobs are going to have to be penalized for this, but that's just any business. When stuff goes wrong, when they lose money, they trim staff, and this is what the Pittsburgh Steelers and probably many other teams will more than likely do because of it. Because of that $500 million per team, basically, they're going to have to trim staff and find a way how to make it back or make it back a little bit by a little bit and have not that huge financial burden of it. So looking at this, just saying the Pittsburgh Steelers, they're still such a valuable franchise in terms of what they're worth. The Steelers just last season made over $500 million in revenue. So meaning that even though they're going to have to pay nearly $500 million for this lawsuit, if it gets passed once again, it was already found basically guilty. So if it gets found guilty again when they appeal it, then $500 million. Well, the Pittsburgh Steelers just last season made $500 million. Obviously, you don't want to lose your entire salary or you lose your entire financial earnings for a year based off one lawsuit. But the Pittsburgh Steelers just last season made $500 million. So... They're not too bad in terms of the situation, but it's still a lot, obviously. So the Pittsburgh Steelers, they're one of the most historic franchises and are tied for the league's lead with six Super Bowls, obviously, as we know. And just looking at the data from the Pittsburgh Steelers, they ranked 15th in the NFL, according to data from Forbes complied JP Morgan Asset Management, saying that they made $548 million exactly. And revenue last season so they were ranked 15th in the nfl but that's still a lot that means each team is making over what their lawsuit would be so the pittsburgh steelers they're also valued at 4.6 billion dollars as a whole but obviously that number really doesn't mean too much unless the company unless the organization is actually sold but obviously dan rooney he won't be selling the company won't be selling the organization anytime soon so Yes, that $4.6 billion at what is valued helps bring in other assets, other kind of offers, and other advertisements, but $4.6 billion won't be seen unless it's actually sold, and it won't be sold anytime soon. So, the Pittsburgh Steelers, even though they're worth a lot, even though their team is worth a lot, there's still a large burden per every NFL team because of this lawsuit that NFL got themselves in, with the NFL ticket Sunday and what they've been alleged that they did. So the Pittsburgh Steelers, nearly $500 million, each team nearly $500 million. There's going to be a lot of cuts on the ro- on the roster in terms of the staff because of this in a way how to make back money. So the Pittsburgh Steelers are going to be dealt with this, but every other team will be dealt with this as well. Also, it's going to be quite interesting to see what the NFL does based off this ruling, based off the changes that they're going to have to make to their NFL ticket Sunday, based off the offers they may have to change to make it more legal, I guess, or what they're going to have to change with the offers they make on NFL Plus, Sunday ticket, or just the offers for streaming games. Maybe this changes the way they do stuff. Who knows? Maybe this changes the way a fan views the game. Who knows what this leads to? But this is all the information we know so far based off this situation. And I just wanted to give you updates on the NFL and the Pittsburgh Steelers because obviously they're involved in this as well. They just obviously go hand to hand because they're part of this organization, the NFL. So with that being said, that's in this video. But let me know your thoughts down in the comments below on the Pittsburgh Steelers having to pay nearly $500 million, the NFL like $4.6 something billion. Do you think that's fair that each team has to kind of contribute to this fine contribute to this lawsuit or do you believe the nfl should just have to come up with themselves and each team shouldn't be penalized if they didn't have nothing to do with the situation and also how do you feel about the staffs and the teams having to make cuts to the staff probably because of the situation to kind of earn back some money do you agree with it do you not agree with it or is it just business at the end of the day let me your thoughts in the comments below with the situation as a whole and also make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn notifications for everything Pittsburgh Steelers news and updates. I covered everything this offseason, from obviously breaking news, signings, trades, 
mock drafts, drafts, everything like that to this news as well. I cover everything Pittsburgh Steelers. Train camps right around the corner. Highlights and analysis will be on the channel for that. So subscribe, turn notifications, like, comment, and I'll see you guys all later. Until the next video, I'm out. Peace.